Shady is back with another get rich or how to make profit type of video and this time guys we're gonna go into the very details so if you don't have time for it save the video and hop back later because I wanna I want you to understand why you are losing money or why you are making profit for some it may be very straightforward but I think most of the players are not thinking about this topic in detail so just to make sure I don't forget about anything, I made a little guide for myself and we're gonna go through these topics. And at the end, you're gonna see that everything I shared is gonna make sense and maybe it's gonna help you adjust the way you approach the game or select your loadout or the game mode or whatever. So let's start with the first section, selecting your loadout. So what I mean by that is that you need to have like a default loadout. A loadout which is not causing you gear fear to give you a bit of a reference for me that would be a t4 helmet t4 armor eventually the armor from the contacts and as a gun i would choose something that falls into the 40 50 60k category with a t4 ammunition and um, average med kits and my total loadout equipment value would be approximately 150k okay that's gonna be an important number 150k but i'm gonna calculate with uh, 200,000. let me add some notes here 200,000k for loadout including ammunition including the spare ammunition i'm putting into my composite case and stuff like that somewhere in between 150 and 200,000, but let's calculate with 200,000. That's my default loadout. It doesn't mean that I don't play T5. It doesn't mean that I don't put uh, up T3 helmets sometimes, but as a default, this is the loadout I'm playing on the maps in the game modes I play, which means that every single time I start the game, I approximately risk 200,000, okay? So the next thing you want to do is to check your extraction rate, your overall extraction rate. You don't see it now, but mine is 26.5%. You can judge me for that. I know it's not the best, but you know, I was pushing in the last couple of days to reach legend. I was also, I'm also sometimes recording stuff just for fun. So I don't really care about the extraction rate. I think if I would be doing my very best, I could push it up to 32% or something, 33, like extracting every third game, but extracting every fourth game is just perfectly fine. So let's see what that means for us in terms of loadout risk. If I extract every fourth game, then overall I'm gonna invest 800,000, correct? Because Every game costs me 200,000. In the fourth game, I'm not gonna lose my stuff because I'm extracting. So total loss is 600,000. And oops, loss, 600,000. And then on the fourth game, I'm extracting. And basically it means that in order to get to zero, like without making any profit on that in that fourth game, I would need to have a profit of 600,000. Like, pretty straightforward, right? And even in the fourth game, I'm still spending some money because I would spend some ammunition, I would spend uh, medical equipment and stuff. But making 600,000 is not easy, right? So that's, that's where the whole story begins. And this is why it is so important to select the correct loadout. Because if you're running with a high loadout, it's not just high risk, but you're also putting yourself into a situation where you need to make profit. And another example would be if your loadout is like 50K because you're a budget player um, and then you just risk, uh, in four games, you just risk 200,000. And it would mean that you would need to do 200,000, which is much easier. This is actually proof that budget guns and budget builds like dum-dums and such just simply work better. Because even if I'm wearing T4 or T5, 
it doesn't protect me against them them players if i have t5 t5 helmet with a with an expensive fall um on tv station i still can get um destroyed by dumb dumb players so this is a very very important aspect of like whether you're gonna make money or not and actually i put this into the wrong section so it's already the second one calculate the profit need for me the profit need is approximately 500 up to 600 thousand every fourth game knowing my extraction rate and i think you who are watching your extraction rate is going to be somewhere between 25 and 40 percent because those players who are extracting um with 50 percent of the games like every second game they don't have budget issues they don't uh, need to worry about making coin or such so 500 up to 600,000 and i'm saying it like that because we get um free bundles we have stuff from the battle pass we have free coin we i have the elite pass so there are additional things that boost our value or boost our inventory or storage value um but ideally Every fourth game I extract with 600,000. Now that we are done with the loadout calculation and profit need calculation, we need to evaluate our skills. So can you can you throw nades? Uh, can you peek? Can you aim precisely? Can you um, handle recoil and stuff like that? Uh, this is all important because it's going to help you selecting the correct game mode, the correct map. If you're good on with, if you're good in with sniping, then Foxtrot, for example, is for you. Um, if you are good in close range combat, then TV station. Just evaluate your own skills and pick the game mode which which fits your game style. Because if you find the correct game mode and the correct map, you have your chances to extract are going to be much better. Like don't go sniping if you are not that sniper type of guy and also don't play dum-dums if you are just simply not good in close range and you don't like aim at the legs. This is important. I know there's, that it's hard to tell on um, whether you are good or not, but be honest to yourself and focus on the play style in which you are the best. It can be ratting, it can be turmoils, it can be mid-range, whatever, but you know, just evaluate your skills and then depending on that select the game mode to give you some reference guys let me guide you through on what works for me and what doesn't work for me so definitely i'm not gonna play normal mode because for normal i would just risking too much stuff and i would face lots of timmies and find mode sins and stuff so for me the optimal uh, mode at the moment is lockdown zone and within the lockdown zones i'm, I'm kind of focusing nowadays on tv station because I'm not pro in close range combats, but I'm better in close range combats compared to um, sniping and mid range and slow play. I can sometimes be sneaky, but I'm just not patient enough to sit there for, I don't know, 15 minutes for you know, just to have one single kill. Therefore, I don't really play Valley. No, I don't play Valley at all. Um, and Northridge, in case I play Northridge, I only focus on the hotel, but I don't play outside of the hotel. Armory, I actually like, but I think it's better to play Armory with a team. And since I play mostly solo, um, Armory is something I avoid. Farm, absolutely not, because it's similar to Valley. Many open areas, um, lots of threat, like thermals nowadays, and it's a competitive map. And which leaves me with port, TV station, and armory. And I think port is a bit more dangerous compared to TV station because there are more teams, competitive teams or professional players joining port and, and fighting and playing as a team. Again, for me, TV station lockdown version is the best at the moment, but I want to get to the point where I step up and play the strengthened uh, forbidden zone of TV station. I'm somewhere in between because my gear and the level I play at is a bit above the average players on lockdown TV station, but it's not always good enough for the um, forbidden TV station because there you can face tons of T6 players, T5 players and so on. So this is my per personal preference but you just need to decide on your own, depending on your playstyle. So if you play Thermals, obviously TV Station is not the best 
pick for you than play Valley or Northridge or whatever. If you are running budget um, budget loadouts, then you could eventually decide whether you want to do normal or are you good enough already to step into lockdown zone? And if the answer is yes, and if you want to be the underdog, then you can try port, for example, a TV station with your budget loadout, eventually even armory, whatever works for you. There is no one single answer that this is the game mode you have to play. It depends on your loadout, depends on your skill, depends on your play style, depends on lots of things. But Again, be honest to yourself. Don't try to force yourself into a situation just because you think TV station is cool, then you're gonna play TV station and become a pushy type of person. If you are having gear fear, if you are not um, good in throwing nades or picking whatever, then don't force yourself into that situation because you're gonna fail and your extraction rate is gonna go even more down. Mm, Foxtrot mode, which just came into the game recently, it's not for me. It's mainly for snipers, it's for thermal players, OSIM players. So guys, with that we covered kind of the, the game mode part and um, you, know, you decide yourself. But for me it's TV Station, Lockdown, TVS, um, Forbidden and Armory, Port. These are my favorite maps and obviously Northridge Hotel, Lockdown version. And kind of that's it which brings us to the next uh, part now that we have the loadout the, the the profit we need we have the map so the next thing you want to do is to decide whether you want to play with keys and if yes then which keys obviously don't play with keys if you're not playing lockdown at least but if you're playing lockdown then i would recommend you to to play with keys um as much as you can for northridge six keys for hotel farm ideally you have the villa key the main guest room the 201 key and the what is it trade center key i know the main guest room is um is pricey but all of the keys um are returning its prices so if you at least once find a red item then you're gonna be okay on tv station i'm actually using the keys in lockdown version what is it the director's key card uh, I have post-production key at the moment. I'm sometimes buying the general office. I'm sometimes you know, having like four up to five keys per, um, per, per map. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's a nice boost if you find at least one red item every 10th game or 20th game. So regardless of how frequently you find the red item, it's always helping you to maintain your coin balance and the special keys like the uh, director's office sometimes you can besides finding a red item find some nice weapons i got two or three age fours from that uh, locked room and not the forbidden version like the lockdown version so definitely um, invest money into buying keys because those keys are gonna make you um, more rich, I would say, but don't only focus on the keys. So if you are playing TV station and if you have the keys, depending on the situation, you may want to open the room, but you may not have a chance because you just don't want to go to the other side of the map. You have two kills already and you want to extract. So be, be mindful of that. Like don't put keys to be your primary focus. So let's add here, play with three up to six keys for more profit and then we got to the last section which is the pvp mindset so again applies to all kind of players it doesn't actually matter if you are pushy or if you're a rat it doesn't matter just please you know be mindful of your pvp default pvp mindset and play according to that and let me explain why this matters a lot so if you are pushing rank then you're gonna force yourself into pvp you're gonna make decisions that you wouldn't be doing if you are entering the map for farming coin like let's take tv station for example if on tv station i spawn near the general office and i have two kills i pick up stuff 
like I don't know 200,000 coin um, in total then if I'm focusing on making money then maybe I would be okay with that and I decide to extract but if I want to push rank points because I'm five stars away from legend in that case I would force myself into additional PvP maybe check the other side of the map so this is a very important decision never go for never force yourself into PvP if you are trying to farm coin okay good example would be Zach Frax uh, and how he plays Northridge Hotel he always goes to the Northridge Hotel always checks the saves he wants to open the saves and if he's facing enemies then he's fighting them he's not afraid of fighting them but he's not gonna run to the other side of the map just for the sake of finding pvp and picking up their stuff so if somebody gets in his way then zach takes takes care of that enemy and then picks up the additional loot but he has multiple runs where he's going into the hotel maybe he's meeting one timmy and then he's opening the saves and then he's extracting and restarting this is why he is rich on besides being very good at the game Taking Yusef as an example, he is very aggressive and very pushy, um, but he's kind of an edge case. Like he is um, destroying others in PvP and he doesn't need to like actually decide whether he wants to do PvP or opening safes or such. So he can do both at the same time. But even if you check his live streams, what he's doing is he runs into armory and instantly starts checking the safes. And if somebody you know is trying to enter the armory then again he takes care of that but again he's not like forcing himself into pvp pvp unnecessarily the point i want to make is that don't try to always fill up your full bag in case you have already two kills or some stuff even if you didn't have any kills but you have a bag worth of 200,000 coin then extract and reset i think for me and for you as well, the worst thing that can happen in the game is that you find some items, you have one, two or three kills, you already have some equipment, some weapons, some scopes and stuff like that. You could extract, but then you keep going because there's still space in your bag and then you die. You face another team and you die and you lose everything not just the 300,000 you've been collecting during the game, but also your base loadout. And I know it's hard to make that decision sometimes, especially if you watch um, professional players like Yusef or Said, because the way Said is thinking is that regardless of who he faces, he's going to be the winner. He's going to be the one who survives. And that's why he can extract in Forbidden Zone TV station with 1.5 million, with 2 millions, because he is not afraid and he actually has the skills to do that. But 90 or 99% or 95% of the players, I'm not going to be able to pull that off. So you need to be mindful where you draw the line in terms of PvP. So I said that everybody would need to adjust. Um, you know his or her own loadout game mode whatever still i'm gonna go ahead and give you like one recommendation you could follow which is tv station lockdown version t4 armor maybe the contact uh, version t3 helmet with the built-in headset and um, camping bag or old bag which puts you at approximately 40,000 loadout and pick a gun that is not um, more expensive than um, than 40,000 T4 ammunition eventually T3 or you can play around with Dum Dum what I'm trying to point out is that have a loadout worth of 100,000 okay 100,000 and play TV station lockdown version with that but you know what? I'm not going to force you to do TV station. Pick any lockdown map, any mode which you think that works for you. Like 100,000 loadout, lockdown, have at least three keys to play with. And in terms of PvP, do the necessary fights, but don't force yourself into 
um, all kind of PvP. With that mindset, if you have an extraction rate of 30%, let's say you can extract every third game, then all you need to do is to have at least 300,000 profit every third game. And I think you can pull that off. If you have two kills, I'm sure you're going to get some juicy loot, like 150,000 additional stuff you pick up. Then it's going to put you up to 300,000 or 400,000. If you find a red item, you're going to get out of the map with 800,000 every third game. I mean, you're not going to find a red item every third game, but you can have 300,000, 400,000 every third game and occasionally find a red item. And this is, this is going to make you rich. I have, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that this is going to make you rich. And the good proof is that look, look at my, my storage value. It's down to 9 million. I've been on 15 million a couple of weeks back because there was a, there was some time where I was playing according to what I just shared and uh, not risking the unnecessary stuff. And I, I just went up and up and up until 15 million. And at 15 million, I started doing all kinds of stuff. I started doing uh, recording stuff for which I had to invest tons of coin. Uh, I played with weapons I don't really play. And then when I got near to legend, I was pushing for legend and pushing for PVP means losing money. This is why I'm down to 9 million, but I'm not afraid. So if I would start doing the same, going to Northridge, open the safes, hotel, extract. Actually, I had a game yesterday. I played Northridge, just one single game. Um, I was going into the hotel, nothing fancy. I had four kills, but none of those kills were like extraordinary. People were just coming. I was prepared and I just shot them. Um, I picked up two AR-57s, no red items, and I extracted with 600,000. So it's absolutely doable. Just follow this example. You can check out uh, Zachfrax. He's doing the same thing. I'm not sure if he's doing it intentionally, but he's doing the same thing over and over again. Um, so it works. I can guarantee you that it works and it works regardless of your your current loadout. You have to do the same if you are running on a high-end build. So if you are running with 500,000 loadout and uh, you extract every fourth game, then every fourth game you need to walk out of the map with 2 million profit. Otherwise, you're going to start going, you're going to start losing money. So that's it. Guys, I know it wasn't like an action-packed video. I know it was intense. It was heavy. But Think about think about the, the the details of what I shared and let me know in the comment section if it made sense to you. And I know guys, you've been requesting tons of other stuff like TV station guide and all kind of guides. They are all on my list, like gun reviews and stuff like that. But you know, I'm doing the gameplay videos, I'm publishing shorts, I'm doing the reaction videos, I'm I'm presenting you the new skins and all kind of stuff. So we're gonna get there, but I cannot just simply do everything at the same time. Anyways, hope you enjoyed guys. Any questions, welcome. As always, shoot loot, subscribe, join my Discord and um, have a nice day. Shady out, bye.